All right, then. Thank you so much for staying with us. This is still Business Nigeria. Public relations is an essential component of any organization's communication strategy, and Nigeria is no exception. In one Nigeria's PR landscape is constantly shifting with new challenges and opportunities arising all the time. Despite this mixed outlook, there are many opportunities for PR professionals in Nigeria. And as the Nigeria PR Week approaches, it's an excellent opportunity to take stock of the current state of public relations in the country and consider what the future holds for the sector. Well, I introduced him earlier. He's live in the studio. He's the president, chairman of council, Nigerian Institute of Public Relations, Dr. Ike Neliaku. Thank you so much. Good afternoon. It's good to have you here. Good afternoon. I'm good excited to, to, to interview you. I am. I am <laughs> very excited to be here. Thank you so much. Well, um, you're having your first anniversary first. Let's, let's start with that an AGM in Abelkuta, very close to us here. Uh, tell us about the state of the institute, vis-a-vis -vis membership and uh, for public, private sector, and all of that, and opportunities for the NIPR certificate. Of course, what do, we, what do you have in stock? <laughs> I know there's a lot. Please bring it down for us. <laughs> well, let me start by thanking you and, uh, again, Nigerians and your international community, you, so you know, because uh, TVC is doing brilliantly very well. You seem to have come from behind, and then I don't want to complete the sentence. <laughs> it's, it's great. It's All great. Right there. Thank you. Well, you know, public relations is as old as humanity. Mm. In the beginning, there was PR. Mm. In the end, there will be yeah. PR. It's one basic thing that we cannot do without. Mm. The institute itself is 61 years we are no longer those you categorize as bon boys or bon girls, you know, like younger Association. associations that we are grooming. And of course, you know that the institute is the product of the law. You know, uh, we are not product of a corporate affairs commission. It's law of the federation, going by the initial decree that was uh, given to us in 1990, precisely 16th of June, 1990. That's when decree number 16 was promulgated by the uh, Armed Forces uh, Military Council, then presided over by General Ibrahim Babangeda. And then by the turn of the Fourth Republic, it's one of the few decrees that survived and went into laws of the federation now cited as cap n114 laws of the federation 2004 mm -hmm. so it's an act of parliament you know that now means that we are a full legal entity practicing to help in nurturing a better society usually when we talk of public relations in those days people think that pr is about just protocol. PR is just about arranging girls for chief executives. PR is about buying tickets. But realities have shown that nations rise and fall on the extent of the reputation, their reputation capital. Remove reputation capital from any nation, it will fall to the ground. The same thing as organizations. The same thing as individuals. That's why today in public relations, it's no longer whether you need public relations, but what we are conversing is at what level. Is it just as an officer? Or is it as a manager? Or is it as somebody who sits at the level of the C-suite? It is how you make your bed so you lie on it. If you want to have an officer, and a big organization for that matter, you feel that the best you can have is a public relations officer. So be it. The day you run into crisis, don't say that, oh, but I had a public relations officer. Because an officer will function as an officer. A manager will function as a manager. A, 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 an executive director will function as an executive director. A director will function as a director. So the level of firewood that you make for yourself will determine how fast your soup can be cooked. Mm. Now, 
we are meeting in Abiokuta to have what we call Nigeria Public Relations Week. Like you observe. That's really unique. Is the first. It's the first. Is the first. Yes. And the reason is very simple. We are beginning to bring public relations to the center stage of nation building. Every year, beginning from this year, we take on a subject matter that is so critical to the nation. And then we bring in experts to discuss it. This year at Abiokuta, we are looking at the issue of the economy, because that is the matter of the moment. We are looking at leveraging the public relations functions as a tool for transformation and empowerment of the economy. And we have brought in the best minds. If you want to say, you can say the best heads. In the economy, public relations, nation building, and so on and so forth. We are bringing them together to interface. The mistake that leaders make is to think that only economists can fix the economy of nations. True. And I think it is somewhere that they have failed woefully. Because the principle of political economy of development will tell you that if you exclude the economy from the civil society, you will fall. If you exclude the economy from the polity, you will fail. If you exclude the economy from relationship and the way people feel about policies and programs of governance, not just government, but governance, it will be a disaster. We are now bringing all this together. Why? Because as I said in the beginning, your reputation determines what people make out of you. Your reputation is the totality of your worth. Your reputation is the quantum of your value. Your reputation determines the trust that people can give to you. But more importantly, we are bringing about 2,000 people, eggheads, who know how to script, who know how to write, who know how to speak, to come and sit down and listen to those in government, tell us how they are doing it, and then we advise them on how they are not selling it. It's one thing to have the best of policies. It's another thing to determine how to make sure that you take these policies to the market in the best way that people can understand. You, usually people say, what is the public relations of it? People say, but you know, we have media. Beautiful. The journalists, the media people, a very important aspect of what we do. And that's why in our sector we call them media relations personnel. But I'll tell you this. The media person serves the food. But before you serve the food, it has to be cooked. Public relations cooks the food that media serves. That's why in public relations, we will tell you how to cook the food and even how to serve it in a manner that it will be very attractive to the eyes, very exciting to the ears, and the nose will be ready to receive the aroma mm. before it goes into the mouth. Mm. And then when to release that information is as critical as even the information. So it's not enough to have the message, in other words. It's not enough to have the product. In other words, it's more important to know the how to, the when to, the where to, the what to. And all these things are the things that happen behind the scene. And that's where the PR man comes in. When he finishes with the design, he gives it to the media person who brings it out. I was glad coming in here and listening to you speaking to the gentleman we call AAA, Adamu A. Okay. Abdullahi, the acting <laughs> CEO, CEO of uh, FCCPC. Yeah. Brilliant man. Yes. We met with him about uh, three, 
or four weeks ago to look at what he's doing. And you know what? We are working together to establish anti-corruption and consumer protection hub in this country. This is just an element of what we are doing in many fields because we realized that John Maxwell said that everything rises and falls on leadership. But now we are beginning to see, especially in Nigeria, that everything rises and falls on corruption. When a leader is corrupt, everything that comes out of him becomes a product of corruption. So the giant in the room, the elephant in the room that must be killed is corruption. And it is not just financial corruption that way. Um, anyway, yeah. it looks yeah. like I'm taking too much. Ah, no, 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 really interesting. You took two of my questions in one because I wanted to ask about the uh, coming up with the Nigeria PR week and what the focus is. And you've broken that down, you know, letting us understand it. But you, NIPR was created in 1963. Yeah. And uh, of course, you expected your Diamond Jubilee sometime last year. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we didn't see anything about, uh, uh, around that. How does that come to you? Well, we are having it this year. Okay. We are having our Diamond Jubilee this year. Okay. And uh, we are dedicating the month of June okay. when we were born, when that famous decree yeah. you know, came into being. From June 1st to June 30th, we are celebrating 60 or 61 years wow. of public relations practice, if you may call it. And I must say that it's something we are looking forward to. We couldn't celebrate it last year because we had so much to do last year. As you are aware, we came to this same place when we were doing Citizen Summit for National Integration, Peace, and Security. That started in 2021, and then we took it through to 2022. By last year, we began to put into practice some of the outcomes from that summit. So we are not able to have the 60th anniversary. But it is something that we must do. And again, I really want to thank TVC for being our strategic partner thank you so much. in convening that citizen summit that saved the nation at a critical time when tension was mounting so seriously yeah. that there was a complete breakdown of trust between government and citizens, yeah. between government and some government at certain levels but more dangerously, between citizens and citizens, there was awesome. no longer trust. But you joined hands with us. We had that summit. In the six geopolitical zones, we were able to bring down tension and to say that this nation is more important than every one of us, no matter where we come from. And that's really important. I, I want you to know your current position, on, uh, of, of course, of the Institute on Quacks, because you talked about this in your post-election inaugural speech, and everyone wants to know what is happening, checking all of these excesses. Uh, so what is happening with regards to that? There, we used to think that there are two, two professions where quacks are resident. Journalism and public relations. But this afternoon, we discovered that the other one is marketing. Why do I say so? Everybody finds it convenient to move into that place, that space. And we are simply saying that enough of all this. We are taking this very seriously because we have to ensure that our act is fully enforced. I need to tell you this. Our act says that anyone that holds out himself as a public relations practitioner, yes. under any name, under any name, so long as he's collecting revenue or payment or money or salary, under any name, call it corporate affairs, call it public affairs, call it communication officer, call it information officer, call it whatever you, call, you like to call it, the act says, if the person is not registered or certified or licensed by the Nigerian Institute of Public Relations, the person is liable for a criminal offense. And the law says when that person is found and tried, 
the person can be jailed or be fined or a combination of the two. It didn't stop there. The organization that employed that person will also be liable to the same punishment. It didn't stop there. The person who signed the appointment mm. of the individual or the consulting firm, as the case may be, whatever it is, is also liable to the same offense. Let, so let we are now you. taking this seriously. Let me allow you land. Okay. And what we have done is okay. to create a committee okay. chaired by a retired major general who is a fellow of the institute. And he's the one driving that. But again, we are at the, this point doing advocacy yeah. so that people are aware as much as possible. Much as you know, ignorance of the law is not an excuse. So, because some will say some aides of governments are even are not, are not members of NIPR. They, they, they were not. But oh, I can tell you that now. many of them Beautiful. have come in. Many of them. Good. You know, we just finished the National Spokesperson Summit Good. in Abuja. Again, you supported us. And I would like to say that many of them, in fairness, good. many of them, That's good news. there are still a few of them, yeah. and we are going after them. There are still a few of them, but I can tell you that many, many commissioners of information, many chief, pre chief, chief press secretaries, Secretary. many of them are coming in now. Because it will simply take one or two examples. One or two examples. And those examples will come very soon. But we want to sufficiently have this period of advocacy. And I will tell you this. The council of the institute will sit in Abiyokuta to consider the report of the Enforcement and Compliance Committee, where they have itemized how they want to function. Once that is done, I've just received the draft report. And then after it's been fine-tuned, and it goes to council. Once council approves it, we start enforcement. So we are not taking it lying low. And the reason is very simple. If you don't manage and regulate yeah, yeah. those that handle some of these things, they will create problems for the nation. It's in the interest of the nation. It's not about me as a person, but it's about doing what is right. Simply obey the law. Everybody complains that government does not obey the law. But you as an individual, to what extent have you obeyed the law? So it's a very simple thing for us. We are taking it very, very seriously. This current council is not sleeping on its duty. Interesting stuff. Well, let's wrap up with the PR week. What is in it, really in it, for, for, for professionals and practitioners? That yeah, we there. come to learn. We wow. have 20 sessions 20. of training, workshops, sessions, trainings, and we are bringing people from within and outside the country to come. And more importantly for young people, we are unveiling the NIPR Young Professionals Hub because we want to build a credible replacement generation of those who we take it from. Look, I keep telling people, if you don't make any effort to produce content in young people, whether in leadership, in business, in whatever, 30 years, 40 years down the line, they become your leaders. So it is the content that you have given them that becomes the output you are going to get. So we are doing this. And then, at the same place, we are unveiling the partnership we have with one of the state governments to establish public relations finishing school, just like the Nigerian Law School, leading to Public Relations University of Nigeria. We are doing all this because Public relations has come to stay. One of, some of the things we are doing are the first in Africa and in the world. And it's coming from Nigeria. Indeed. Because this is where best things come from. Indeed. There is no country like Nigeria. Indeed. Interesting stuff. President, Chairman of Council, Nigerian Institute of Public Relations, Dr. Ike Nileaku. Thank you.